I will tell you something. I had a, I used to be definitely afraid of public speaking uh, to the point where I couldn't, uh, you know, I would hold that I couldn't function. Um, and this was before I became an entrepreneur. I've, I've been an entrepreneur for a bit, over 10 years now, but I knew it was a problem. And I figured, well, I've got to get over this. And the way that I thought that I would get over it, which ended up working was I took a comedy class at Caroline's Comedy Club in New York City, which is legendary. That's one of the old school comedy clubs. All the greats have come through there. And they were giving this like, all of the, a lot of the big comedy clubs do this. They have like workshops and you work with one of the, you know, the comedians. And so I took a comedy core um, workshop that was six weeks long and from day one, here's the brilliance of it. I realized I had to get over my fear of public speaking if I wanted to become an effective entrepreneur or business, you know. The first thing that they make you do, and this is what I say about any time you, you are learning something, whether it be formal learning or informal learning, is obviously hands-on is the best. Day one in the class, you have to introduce yourself by doing a, a three-minute stand-up routine that you have prepared, never having met anyone in the class or been in the class, your introduction, rather than saying, hi, I'm Charlie, I work at so-and-so, is to just get up, take the mic, and do your, your, your stand-up for three minutes. And then for the rest of the weeks, the next five weeks, you would work on creating a five-minute stand-up routine that you would then perform on stage at Caroline's in front of 250 people you don't know. <laughs> And that was your final exam, right? So that, that's, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, and that's I worked amazing. with, and the person who, the, the teacher was uh, this comedian named Linda. She smoked like three packs of cigarettes a day. <laughs> Linda. <laughs> and she, funny as hell. <laughs> funny as hell. And, and here's the thing, and this is where your life begins to talk to you. So I have this thing where you talk to your life and you say, this is what I want. This is who I am because you think you know. And then your life in, uh, in certain instances, in most instances, will talk back to you and say, no, that's not. No, it ain't. That's what you think, right? And so there's this pull and tuck. So in that course from day one, I learned I had been working in sitcoms for years years. I've sat in a room with writers on shows with like Gary David Goldberg. I've sat in a room with the, uh, David Geffen and at DreamWorks. I mean, I, I used to work on sitcoms and, and with the writers. So writing comedy for me was nothing. That was easy. Everyone else in the class struggled with that. My struggle was grabbing the mic and being okay and delivering it. So my teacher, that the comedian, she said, God, you're, and everyone was laughing at the jokes that I had. I mean, I've been, I've been working in TV for, and sitcoms for years. I know how to land and, and, and tell a joke and get the joke out there. She said, you know, you're really funny. She said, you, you know, you know how to set up the joke. She says, do you write? You set up, you this, you delivered it. I said, yeah. She says, you just got to deliver it better. You just got to know how to, you know. And, I, and over the week, I became better. Here's what I learned. This is really very important for me anyway, and I, I tell, I would say this to entrepreneurs too. It, it came time to perform in front of 300 people, 250, 300 people I had never seen before mm -hmm. in my life. And these were tourists that they brought in on buses. This is what we used to do in New York, right? Bring the, just get a busload of tourists, give them free tickets and some booze and, you know. And uh, as the time came for me, Charlie. Now I'm looking, I'm backstage at Caroline's Comedy Club. I mean, this is legendary. I'm seeing like the, the greats on the wall, Jim Belushi, was it John Belushi, John Belushi, Eddie Murphy, da da da, Chevy Chase. You see all the greats on the wall, right? And I'm like, wow. Then as it comes time for me to go on stage, I'm the next person. The guy is up there. He's doing his thing. I all of a sudden break down and I start crying like a big baby. I was like, I can't do this. Oh my God, I can't do this. Do this. I met with my biggest fear, and it was like, "Hello, I'm here." And so I said to myself, I, "I'm either going to do this, or I'm going to be a failure, and I cannot be a failure." But then Linda, the teacher, the comedian who smoked three packs of cigarettes a day, came up to me, and I'll never forget that she said this. And I'm not going to say the word because it's a bad word. And she says, "Were you you crying? So were you not going to do it? What are you? You know, like you know, <laughs> what are you a punk?" And I was like, yo, like easy. <laughs> I was crying and I was like, wait, what? Is that part of the course? <laughs> and she said, get out of there. Yeah, it was, 
It was what you listen. If she said something like that today, she'd be like, you know, dragged through social media. She'd lose all her credentials. <laughs> but back then, that's how we handle things. And so I went out there and I did it, and uh, and they loved it. And they asked me to do more. 